In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this surface. So first, I'm going to control tab back to my blank document. And that surface is a lofted surface, so we need a minimum two sketches. We're going to create three. So first, I'm going to select the front plane, you know, reference geometry plane, and I'm going to create an offset plane, three inches. I want to flip it the other way, zoom out a bit. It's fully defined. I'll say OK. Now in that plane, I'm going to create my first sketch. So I'm going to select the plane, select sketch, and I'm going to sketch a three-point arc. I'll do this style. I'll start here, come over here, up, and click to create the three-point arc. So I'll activate Smart Dimension from mouse gestures. I'll dimension it, and then I'll finish fully defining it with the relationships. This radius is inch and a half, and from the origin to the center is 5 eighths. I'll push Escape. The origin and the arc center are vertical, and the endpoints of the arc and the origin are all horizontal. So my sketch is fully defined. I'll right click and exit that sketch. Next, I'm going to go to the front plane and I'm going to insert a sketch there. Again, I'm going to make a three point arc this style. Let's click here, here, move up and click to create the arc. Once again, the center point of the arc and the origin are vertical. The two endpoints of the arc and the origin or horizontal, and I'll activate Smart Dimension. Center the arc and the origin are a quarter inch apart. The arc itself is three quarters. So I have my sketch fully defined. I'll right click, I'll exit that sketch, and I'm going to look at it isometrically. So these are the two entities we'll use in our surface loft, and I want to add a guide curve. So I'm going to find the plane that goes through the center, the right plane. I'm going to sketch in it, and I'll look normal too. And once again, I'm going to choose the same style of three-point arc. And I'm just going to create this three-point arc. I use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. Its radius is four inches. I'm going to push escape to stop that. I'll go back to the isometric view. This end point of the arc and this arc have a Pierce relationship. And the same relationship exists between this endpoint and this. So I'll make Pyrrhus. Again, my sketch is fully defined. I'll right click and I'll exit the sketch. So now I want to turn these three arcs into a surface loft. So if you don't have the surface toolbar active, again, you're going to right click on any tab, move down the tabs, and turn the checkbox on beside surface. So there I've shut mine off. I'll go back and I'll turn it back on. So I'm going to select the surface toolbar because we want to create a surface loft. I'm going to tell it I want to create a loft. And just like creating a solid loft, it's important if you select this profile near here, you select this profile near the same end. Then I want to tell it I have a guide curve, so the loft will follow this curve as it joins these two arcs. This is what I want it. I'm going to say OK. And I'll save my work and we'll continue from there in the next video.